What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best free tweaks of the week. So for the first week we have FS video only messages. So sometimes in messages when you just tap on a video that somebody sends you, it actually plays that video in line in messages. Well with FS video only messages, you can see right here that if we go ahead and open up our messages, if we tap on play rather than playing it in line, it actually goes into full screen mode and allows us to play it. Now this isn't going to have any issue whatsoever with, you know, uh, peak and pop, so you can still peak the video right there, you can pop it into full screen, but at the same time it's not going to play right there in line in messages, which is something that I never really enjoyed and didn't ever want to use, so this is a nice tweak to have. Next up we have a tweak called Spot White. So what this does is take your spotlight and turn it white. That's really all that it does, and it's not only going to work there, it's also going to work right here on the springboard if we swipe down. Next is a tweak called Ghosty. So what Ghosty does is basically when you use 3D Touch on your springboard to you know open up the quick actions menu within your icons right here, it's going to fade out all the other icons. Rather than putting up that blur, it's going to fade the icons out. And I remember seeing this on Reddit, it was a request, but you can see right here that if we open that up, you can see that all of these, rather than blurring out, they just kind of fade out. So it kind of just depends on preference what you think looks best. I think it looks pretty good, but at the same time, I think I like the blur a little bit better, but to each their own. Next is a really cool and helpful tweak called Tactful. Now what this does is allow a quick action menu right here on Cydia. So you can see if we go ahead and force touch on that, then you'll see that we get the refresh repos, we have add repo, recent installations, as well as search Cydia. So you can obviously get this not only on the 6S, but you can get a tweak like Forcey to allow you to use this application as well. So let's just say for instance that we wanted to uh, check Cydia or search Cydia. We can just tap right there. It's going to open up the search pane right there. So again, let's just do this again and we'll go to add a repo. So it goes directly into your sources and then gives you the pop-up to add a source. So this is a really helpful tweak. I highly recommend checking this out for sure, especially since it's free. Another tweak that I think is really awesome and free is called Unicode Faces. So if you guys have seen these Unicode Faces before, I use them sometimes on Twitter, and this is probably going to make me use them uh, a whole lot more. But basically you open up messages here, and this is going to work in anywhere that you have a keyboard. And all you wanna do is press and hold on your space bar. Now you don't wanna force touch it, if you're on a 6S or a 6S Plus because that's going to obviously activate the cursor. But if you just tap and hold on it, you can see that we have these Unicode faces that we can just tap on it's going to input those directly. So if we wanted to flip a table, boom, we tap on it and then it puts it right there in the message or email. So really cool and I think it's definitely worth checking out. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Browser Breadcrumb Cleanup. So it is a mouthful, but basically what it does, let's say for instance that I go into TweetBot here and then I open up Safari or Chrome within another application. In this instance, it's gonna be TweetBot. So I'm just gonna tap on this link and it's going to open up Safari. So how this normally works is that it's going to keep this tab open in Safari even if you go back to TweetBot. So if I tap over here, now what this tweet does is close out of that tab. So basically it's going to help you keep your Safari and Chrome tabs clean. So you can see right here, if I go back into Safari, that I have no tabs open right here. Even if I tap right here, you'll see no tabs are open. So again, all you gotta do, tap on that, it opens up a new tab, and then once you wanna close out of it, hit back to TweetBot or whatever application it is, and it's gonna keep those tabs clean. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.